Let's compute a Riemann sum. In particular, let's approximate the area under x squared on the interval from 0 to 4 using eight equal width rectangles. So, not drawing this even remotely to scale. But here's our curve. We start at zero, we end at four. If our petition is going to have eight equal width rectangles, those rectangles must each have a width of one half. One half, two halves, three halves, four halves, and so on, up until eight halves. And now for each of these rectangles, each of these intervals, I should say, we need to create a rectangle. And we do that by selecting a point and drawing a line up to the curve. Common points to select include the left end point. In this case, that would give you a degenerate rectangle or the right end point. But if you can choose, probably the best point to select is the point midway through the interval at one fourth. And we'll create a rectangle that way. And the width of this rectangle is clearly one half. The height, well, this is the point one fourth comma f of one fourth. So one fourth comma one fourth squared. And the y coordinate gives the height. So the area of this rectangle is the base times the height. For this interval, let's again select the midpoint, which will be three fourths. And let's use that to create a rectangle. The width is one half. We used three fourths. So this is three fourths, comma, three fourths squared. And this y coordinate is 
is providing the height and we keep going. One half times five fourths squared. plus one half times seven fourths squared plus one half times nine fourths squared plus one half times 11 fourths squared. I'm not going to sit here and tell you with a straight face that these are the most exciting problems, but at least we're almost done. That was one half times 13 fourths squared. And this is one half times 15 fourths squared. Here we are at Wolfram Alpha. I pulled the one halves out, but otherwise we'll just press enter and we'll get 21 point 25 as our answer. And let's just see if Wolfram Alpha will give us the correct exact answer. The area under X squared between zero and four. We'll get to this notation by the end of the semester. But for now, we just see 21.3333. So 21.25, not the best approximation. Not the worst approximation either. We'll see fairly shortly how we can use limits to make these approximations better.